There is no reason for a woman like Simone Biles to be as so talented, beautiful as she is, to be with a man who speaks about her like that, unless he is reverse gold digging. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, this might be. <laughs> I always say we, the men are kids. And should be that kind of proud of his wife and her accomplishment. You know about it, about you and her husband. Oh, she didn't say you were super married? This is what these passport men are. They're just looking for women they can go to other countries who know their place, know to submit. His favorite word to use with us is submit, submit. guys welcome back to more to life before i get into this video i ask that you like comment subscribe also smash that notification bell just to be sure you get on my videos as soon as i release them let's hop right into it do you have a job jay yes okay why well, can't i deal with you the reason why i can <laughs> No, no, I can't take nobody that got a job either. That's why I said I, was. I don't not, want though. nobody with a job. Because if, if we want to go to Jamaica yeah. to see your girl's family, and you it's, can't because you got to go to When it comes But you can't tell them, like, oh, I got to go to Jamaica tomorrow. True. Like, you got to. No, but when it so comes So you could just to leave your job. I mean. Anytime. Like, right, like you told us we had to push the time back because you didn't get off work till a certain time. Like, that yeah. already is, like, a hassle. You want your entertainer or something like that. Or a drug dealer. Or a drug dealer. Or a scammer. Yep. That's what you want. You know what I'm saying? Because a true entrepreneur with some real business and all these type of things, they not taking no days off like that. They not doing. They can't. You know what she wants? She wants a passport, bro. But <laughs> you can't get them, baby. Because they don't want you. Emotional damage. They can't, but they know I got a business to run. And they not wired. To. Exactly. That's why they got to where they are to begin with. Exactly. Continue. You know, so when I heard all that, bro, I feel like that was childish. That's a childish mindset. Man, it's funny because I was reacting to these videos like yesterday and then, yeah, it was yesterday actually. So I reacted to the videos yesterday and I see it. I'm looking at what these girls are saying and I'm like, well, I live that kind of lifestyle. But guys live the kind of lifestyle that I live don't want you. <laughs> but let's go on to the next video. The thing that bothers me the most about that Simone Biles husband's interview isn't the fact that she's sitting right there next to him, smiling, giggling, eating it up. And it's not the fact that he's just like, like, I, I don't know, I didn't really know her. It's the fact that the vibe that I get from that is he's saying she wasn't really my type. She wasn't really my type. She isn't the typical girl that I could have gotten or, you know, would have gotten with, but I gave her a chance. Therefore, I am the catch. There is no reason for a woman like Simone Biles to be as so talented and accomplished and as beautiful as she is to be with a man who speaks about her like that, unless he is reverse gold digging and just you know riding off her coattails for for the name for the fame and everything else that comes with it the way he talks about her gives very much resentment oh i gave her a chance and look at where we are that's what the interview gives if i'm not mistaken doesn't he play for the nfl because if he does that's why he's giving off that vibe right he could have got a girl from anywhere, he could have. And when he said he doesn't usually get girls, actually, forget what she's saying. Let's get right into the interview. I want to see what he, I want to see what he says. I got an interview with him. A couple of days, man, and it's like she pops up, and I'm like, mm, let me see who this is. Gymnastics. I ain't never, you know, I, I never really paid attention to gymnastics, so it, it, it piqued my curiosity, you know. So I'm like, okay, that's that's that's. A, I, I'll see what's up. I swiped her, and it said we match. So I'm just like, oh, okay. So I'm gonna see what's up. So I go do my workout, and I come back. And I get like, I had some likes on my Instagram, you know, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, this might be. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So I see what's up. And then I still waited. I'm like, man, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till I, you know, take a shower and everything. Then I come back to my phone and then she messages me on the app like, hey, you know what I mean? And I'm, man, that's up, man. This got to be fake. Like, I don't know. Just, I didn't know who she was at the time, but like the first thing that I saw was that she just had a bunch of followers. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, she got to be good if. Yeah. I promise you, I'm a, I'm a real life story. When she won the Olympics, I was in college 
and we didn't have NBC, we didn't have Olympic channels, and we're in camp. We're in camp. Late, late, late July, early August, so I'm not paying attention to, you know, so I never would have had a moment to where I would have watched, like, you know. Jonathan, I'm going to let you finish your story, man. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> but like I was saying, man, she, she messaged me. This was like a Tuesday, and we, we, we were texting back and forth, and then we hung out Friday, man, and um, we couldn't do much since COVID happened. Everything was shut down, so... Um, she came through down um, down to Houston. She lived in the suburbs, so she had to drive about 45 minutes to me. Um, then the rest is history, man. So, so you was really the catch in... I always say we, the men are catch, man. I always say we the catch, man. Yeah, so she really booked you. She did, though. She is did, what you though. said. Because I, I was fighting it. I was fighting it. So I was you, fighting it. So in truth, if I say this out loud, was Jonathan Owens ain't really want Simone Biles. Is and, what you're saying. <laughs> At the time, that's what you're not gonna say. That that's what you're saying. I was afraid. I I was afraid to commit. I'm like, ah, I'm, man, this my this is my third year. You know, I'm trying to ah. I'm like, it's kind of early, <laughs> but you know, like I said, man, it happened when you least expect it. And we hung out, man. It was like we hit it off instantly. You know, we just laughed the whole night. So, from how it seems there. That made sense what he was saying, right? Of course, he admitted she's not someone you would go for like that, which he's a football player. Going into the NFL, which I think he's in the NFL now, I think he's just telling the truth. So what's going on with the last woman? I'm going to the next video. Simone Biles and her husband, Jonathan Owens, have responded to the backlash from the podcast interview he did where he recalls meeting Simone and basically said that he didn't know who she was before they started dating and that he was the catch when most of us don't even know his name. We only know that he's Simone's husband. But anyways, Jonathan shared pictures with Simone on Instagram writing unbothered. Just know we locked in over here and Simone commented saying for life. Yesterday, Simone also posted a picture from their wedding writing mood and Jonathan also shared this on his Instagram story, writing, you never cease to amaze me. You deserve it, baby. So proud of you. So in the podcast interview, Jonathan claimed that he never really followed gymnastics before he started dating Simone. But of course, Twitter did its thing and uncovered old tweets from 2012. At one point, he tweeted saying, low key, I'd be hoping that the people from the other nations fall when they'd be doing gymnastics. Here are some of his other tweets talking about Gabby, even criticizing her bottom teeth, men. And he even tweeted saying, why is there an Asian coach for the USA girls gymnast? So clearly he he followed it at least a little bit and if you follow gymnastics you know who simone biles is mm. so simone biles heard what you all said about her husband about him saying that he's the prize and he's the catch and she wants you to know this she says call me jonathan owen's wife simone we love you too much to do that we're not going to let you dim your light so that his can shine you are a four-time gold medalist you are the most decorated olympian in history we are not going to let you let this man and his fragile ego make you diminish your accomplishments that have taken you a whole lifetime to build <laughs> you can't make this no, ma'am. And to be truthful with you, if he really respected you, he wouldn't even want you to do that. You've worked your whole life to get here. And if he can't stand by your side proudly with your accomplishments, then that's the bigger issue here. What I, You know, I hate to compare, but girl, I have to. Uh, Alexis Ohanian, Serena Williams' husband, refers to himself as the husband of the goat. That man is a billionaire, co-founder of Reddit, and he still is like, do you know who I'm married to? That's how they should be. Russell Wilson, and like I said, not too much on Sierra, but the way he brags about her, you would think she out here putting out Michael Jackson numbers. She's not, but that a man should be that kind of proud of his wife and her accomplishments. She's doing what any good wife would do, and that stand up for her husband, and I applaud her for that. But all we're saying is he should have been standing up for you in that interview as well. Just like how you're proud to be his wife, he should be just as proud to be your husband. That's all we're saying, honey. I want to give a shout out to Simone. Simone, you got a real one, Simone, and you're doing the right thing. Do you know men from yonder to a men from New York, LA, all the way to the Philippines, give you a slow hand cap, sister. I want you to know this. She says, call me Jonathan Owens White. What you're doing is you're showing the feminist movement. Look, I don't care about nothing y'all are saying. Why? Why is that, Simone? Tell him, Simone. Simone, tell him, Simone. You ain't got no damn man. Why are all these women married?
And the ones that do, right? Tell them, Simone. This comes from Simone's mouth, not mine's. Stop it. Get some help. Tell them, Simone. So stop it. Stop talking about her. Like she needs to worry about you. Worry about yourself. Shout out to Simone. <laughs> Guys, give her a hand clap in the comments. Give Simone a hand clap. I give her no props. You got my respect, sister. And we're going to the next video. So it says he caught his wife cheating on another guy. He didn't know she was married. This guy looks like he don't know she's married. Let me run that back. I'm in a hood. I don't know about that. Huh? I don't know about that. You know, what you don't know about it? About you in the hood. Oh, she ain't say you was super married? Huh? She ain't tell you she was married? Huh? But she was crazy. She told me y'all was split up, bro. She belongs to the streets. Oh. Uh, she didn't have nobody. Look at that evil smile on her face. What? Let's go on to the next video. Now this video here is my man Bob Rich Life with his gorgeous, I believe, where's she from? I think she's from Colombia. Yeah, I think she's Colombiana, right, from Colombia. And yeah, they do come dark. So, if anybody didn't know, I'm sure a lot of you guys do know, they come like that as well. And looking at all these hating sisters from the west side with his wife, and you can see in the gestures how they feel about it, right? Well, they really don't care. But let me let's, let's just watch it. They plan on getting passports and everything else. And I need you ladies to understand that, you know, this is another way of manipulation, right? So that way the man can blame the woman. Oh, it's your fault that I have to go get a passport and go find a woman in another country because I can't find a woman in my own country because none of them want me. But that's your fault. It don't work like that. This is what these passport men are. They're just looking for women. They can go to other countries who know their place, know to submit. Any lady in it has ever been in a relationship, we know that a male's favorite word to use with us is submit, submit. So the passport bros is gaining more and more popularity. And honestly, the ladies are not happy about it. And one of the reasons I think it's getting so much pushback from women is because what the competition? They're going to have more competition when it comes to dating and mating. There's going to be more options available for men. And I think for many ladies, that just makes them feel a little bit uneasy, if I'm just being honest. First of all, the idea of dating and mating being competitive in general is not anything that we grew up hearing. A lot of women grew up here with their pride. They just have to be, and the man will just magically show up. That, you know, just their presence is enough. Like, we, can't, we heard these things, and so the idea of competing or the idea of, you know, making yourself available or different, you know, things that you would do to make yourself desirable to another partner is very foreign especially for black women. And so now fast forward and you have this whole group of men that are saying, hey, you aren't willing to work with us. Fine, we're going to go abroad and find women who are. It's like it's like a mixture of shock and disdain and disgust. And how dare you do this? Like, you're going to make us have to compete? How dare you? So um, the thing is, I don't think it's going anywhere. I legitimately do not think that this movement is going anywhere, but I think I think it's going to grow. And this is just the way of the economy of the world. So many things are globalized. Jobs being one of them, uh, different career opportunities. And of course, relationships is going to be one of them. So I, I just think it's making a lot of women uneasy. But the reality is what worked 50, 60, maybe even 10 years ago when it, when it came to finding somebody, it's not going to work today. Things are just strictly different. Things just are not the same. And I think instead of trying to shame dudes or trying to find ways to detour them from doing what they have already decided they're going to do, it might be more productive to just try to understand what's going on at least at least listen even if you don't like the password bros at least try to listen to their, to their complaints hear where they're coming from and then from there you might be able to figure out okay how to navigate in this space my thoughts yes and you know it's wild right he's just sitting there reacting with his girl and i'll tell you what happened to my wife right she couldn't believe it i told her this this is what i told her my wife i said i'm going to start doing reaction videos to this because this i can see it's about to be something that everyone's talking about. And it's gonna be a non-stop conversation. The wife listened to me, we did it. And she was shocked. And when it happened, and, and it, it's so beautiful how I did it because she has my videos. So she's editing them. So all the ideas you see going into it, the edits, that's all her, right? And I thank her for it. And she's driven by these hyenas with nothing to say but negativity. But anyway, that's what it is. Shout out to Beverage Life and his lady's beautiful wife. And thank y'all for watching. But guys, be on your toes and be aware. But I'm sure you already realize it's more to life than going through that nonsense back home. See you in the next video.